Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm bringing you a project that can be used as a knife lanyard or key fob. It is made using a 3-pass gaucho fan knot and it is not particularly hard to do. I had a lot of fun making these, so you can see that I have made quite a few different variations. As far as supplies go, you're going to need a mandrel to tie your gaucho fan knot onto, then you're going to need 3 cords for your gaucho fan knot, two of which are going to be paracord 550 and the third cord is going to be either micro cord or type 1 paracord. You're also going to need a shorter piece of paracord for the core of the key fob as well as a lacing needle, some scissors and a lighter. So with these supplies ready, we can begin tying our gaucho fan knot. I have attached one of my working ends onto a mandrel and I have also attached a lacing needle. I'm going to start by making three wraps around the mandrel. I'm then going to come around and go over these wraps from right to left, creating X shapes. I'm then going to come around and go in between the wraps I did coming from left to right. like this and after I come over my last cord I'm going to enter back into the knot and go opposite to this cord. So I'm going to start with an under then I'm going to go over then under then over and under over under then over under and finally over then place my working end next to the standing end and we're now going to start our interweave you can also secure your working end of this cord under a rubber band to make things a bit easier so we're going to start an interweave and we do this by attaching our next cord on the left side of the standing end of the first cord and then we're going to double our standing end coming from left to right. So all we're going to do is follow the standing end of the first cord towards the right side. When you come to the right side, exit the knot with an under. And because we exit with an under, we're going to re-enter the knot with an over. So we enter the knot with an over one, then go under one in order to split a pair of parallel cords. Then go over two, then under one, again splitting a pair of parallel cords, then over two, under one, over two, under one, over two, under one and finally over two. We re-enter the knot with an under, then go over two, which splits a pair of parallel cords, then go under, over two, under one, over two, under one, 
over to under one over two and finally under one and we have already come to the last pass with our second chord and we start our next sequence with an over one then under two over two under two over two under two over two under two over two under two and finally we exit with an over two we then go under the standing end of the first chord and place our working end next to the standing end of the second color With this we have tied a two pass gaucho fan knot and we could already use this one for our key fob but I'm going to add a smaller cord as well to make this key fob a bit more colorful. We're now going to start our work with the third cord which I have placed on the left side of my second cord. I'm now going to follow my second cord all the way to the right side. So I start with an under two then go over two, then under two, and so on, all the way to the right side. We exit on the right with an under two, which means we're going to start our next sequence with an over two. So we start with an over two, then go under two, which also splits a pair of parallel chords. Then we're going to continue with an over three, then under two, then over three and under two over three under two over three under two and finally we exit on the left with an over three we're going to re-enter the knot with an under two Then over three, under two, over three, under two, and again over three, under two, and again over three, under two over three and under two and with that we have come to the last pass and since we exit with an under we're going to enter with an over two then go under three then over three under three and so on basically always going over three under three until we reach the left side on the left side i'm going to go under the standing ends of my other two chords so here 
and then place my working end next to the standing end of my third color. So we now have a nice three pass gaucho fan knot. We're now going to finish our working ends as well as our standing ends in a clean way. To do that, we're first going to run our working ends a bit further into the knot. So I'm going to travel over three and then under three with my third cord. Then I'm going to take the working end of my second cord and I'm again going to run it into the knot over 3 and then under 3. Basically, the sequence for all of our working ends is going to be under 3, over 3, under 3, at which point they come out of the knot. And my first cord goes over three and then under three. Now that we have run our working ends a bit further into the knot, we can remove our standing ends. And we do that by basically pulling them out where our working ends are coming out as well. So like this. And do the exact same thing with the rest of your standing ends. I'm now going to remove my knot from the mandrel. Then take the working end of my first cord and I'm going to enter the knot right where I came out and then run my cord all the way to the right side, going through the middle of the knot. I'm now going to take the standing end of my first cord and I'm going to finish it by going over 3 towards the left side then enter the knot and go through the middle and towards the left. And with this we have kept our sequence but we made sure that all of our ends are coming out at the sides. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other two cords. So take your next working end and run it through the knot towards the right side. Then take the standing end of your second color. and go over 3 towards the left and then enter into the knot going through the middle of the knot towards the left side. And we're going to now finish our third cord exactly the same way. So take your working end of the third cord, enter the knot right where you exit go through the middle and exit on the right side. Take your standing end go over 3 towards the left side and then through the middle of the knot towards the left side. With that we have finished our ends in a clean way. I'm now going to take another cord which will serve for the core of our key fob and I'm going to tie a lanyard knot onto it. You can also use any other two strand stopper knot that you feel like using.
Now that we have tied our lanyard knot, I'm going to adjust it slightly and then we're going to place our 3 pass gaucho fan knot onto this core. There are a number of ways that you can use to place the core through your gaucho fan knot. What I do is usually just take a lacing needle and push the loop of the core through the knot and out of the other side. So like this. I'm now going to tighten the knot onto this core and then cut and melt the ends. Once you have tightened your knot onto the core, cut the ends like I have done here and then work them in back into the knot. The last tip that I would like to give you is to roll this key fob between two pieces of wood for example. Roll it hard and you will get a nice flat look for your fob. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It wasn't particularly hard I think and it does result in quite a nice looking key fob or knife lanyard. So thank you for joining me and see you next time.